All right, Craig Setzer, um, we had that tornado warning in a number of areas. That has now been canceled. What's going on with Irma now in terms of the keys? Yeah, so let's check in with Irma first uh, in terms of the keys, and then we will check in with the advisory. We have It's an intermediate advisory, which... Uh, speaks to what the storm is doing right now, its position, its wind speed, and then we're going to show you the track again. We need to, to remind everybody about that. And for those of you who are joining us on radio, I'm going to try to talk in very descriptive terms here. I know I won't do as good of a job as I, as I hope to, but I'm going to do the best that I can considering I had one hour of sleep in the last 24 hours. So we're going to start with the radar presentation, and that is of the northern eye wall, which looks like a half circle. Uh, now over the lower keys, over Key West, we've had a wind gust to nearly 80 miles an hour at the Key West National Weather Service office, and uh, it runs basically along the overseas highway up to the Seven Mile Bridge. Uh, there has been a little bit of lightning in the eye wall, which is not surprising. Occasionally you get that, but the inside part of the eye wall that is about to reach the overseas highway from about Big Pine to, uh, or at least from about Kajo Key uh, over to Big Kapa Key. So for those of you who held out, and uh, those are pretty low keys there, there's not a lot of high ground. If you were there, uh, you are about to get a break in the action. Now the center uh, is located, and let me, let me put a distance measuring tool on it here so, so we can talk about just about how far away it is. The center is located right now about nine miles, eight miles. Uh, from making landfall, uh, which is located about 15 miles to the east-southeast of Key West. The, um, the other thing, and let me zoom out here just a little bit and should put it back into motion here and show you a kind of the size of this eye wall here. So there's the eye wall, and if we measure the distance across from one side to the other, we start near Key West and go across uh, to the other side, it's about 45 miles wide. And that was what we were saying when it was still over the ocean and still well to the south. So, so about 45 miles wide, just about to Boot Key Harbor on the west end of Vaca Key and Marathon there. Uh, and it may or may not make contact with it. Let's touch base with the advisory now. This is the uh, 8 a.m. Uh, intermediate advisory, and I'm going to give the latitude and longitude because at this point, uh, I could even make the assumption that some people are plotting the position because they're not seeing it on TV. The latitude is 24.5 north. The longitude is 81.5 west. It uh, has 130 mile an hour winds. It's moving to the north northwest, and if you have a compass, uh, it's 330 degrees, and the speed is eight miles an hour. Pressure's been hovering around 930 millibars. It's 929 right now. It's Category Four because of that 130 mile an hour wind. It's 20 miles east southeast of Key West. That's the center. So let's go forward into time here. And first off, let me explain the the wind rings here. The red is the hurricane force winds, which covers all of the lower keys, middle keys, and into the upper keys. The hurricane force wind gusts now cover cover all of Miami-Dade and is working into Broward and the tropical storm force winds extend to the north. Going ahead into time here now, as the storm moves away, the 2 p.m. position is located almost halfway between Naples and Key West. And let's back up a little bit. I don't want to go that quickly because I want to describe what's going on in South Florida. Uh, back me down to the 2 p.m. position, please. My uh, great weather producer here, uh, uh, meteorologist Liz Horton is is doing an amazing job behind the scenes on the graphics. I really have to give a shout out to her and handling social media. So this is the 2 p.m. Sunday position where it is located about halfway between Naples and Key West. Uh, the closest approach now is into Miami-Dade where there are hurricane force wind gusts and really the worst of the storm and increasingly in Broward. Uh, the upper keys covered by the hurricane force wind gusts but the storm is pulling away literally from the lower keys. So now let's go forward into time. And here we are, closest approach near Naples will be late in the afternoon. And you can back up just a little bit and we'll talk about uh, what's going on with South Florida there. So the storm is pulling away in the evening and then the winds will be coming down as we go into the evening. Closest approach to Fort Myers then is 7 p.m., which uh, the, the cone and the core are very, very close both to Naples and Fort Myers if it follows the center of the track. Okay, let's go a little bit further into time going up the coast there to Sarasota. It's midnight now and the weather, the winds are finally no longer gusting to hurricane force throughout Miami-Dade Broward and Paul, most of Palm Beach County and the Keys, the winds are now only in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range, and that's midnight tonight. 
but the worst of the weather is in the Tampa Bay area with uh, the forecast intensity, a major hurricane. So uh, the worst of the wet, <clears throat> excuse me, the worst of the weather is of a of a near coastal following hurricane right over the Tampa Bay area uh, during the darkness of midnight tonight.